Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Friday, January the 20th, the year's 2023. Let's talk trading. Weekly wrap up. As always, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Taking a quick look at the week, you can see we're 135 pips over the weekly open, 91 off the high, now 90, and 176 off the low. And for those of you keeping track, all the gaps have filled. We are still above the opening range for the week. And as you can see, today was a red day. And price came out of that upper wick zone and basically covered the body of Thursday's candle. For the year, 255 pips above the yearly open, which is also the monthly open because we're in January. A whopping 503 pips off the yearly low and 91 off the yearly high, which is also the monthly at this time. We had an inside bar yesterday. It looks like we broke it to the north by about, oh, a half a pip. And then price turned around, slammed down and as you can see we're 53 pips off the high but you know we've only got about 62 pips of range lots of inside bar action to be had 62 pip range but you can see there's other pairs these yen pairs are definitely over 100 pips and the uh, dollar yen is up 206 pips above the open. <coughs> I think if I remember correctly, it was down around 127, 128 at one time. And that's kind of obvious it was down around 128 because that's 200 pips. So. And right here, <coughs> we can see. The buy zone was tested and broken, or actually the short zone right here was tested and broken. And we actually came back up to the short zone a couple times and price has been pulling back. And right now at 23.45, we are in the launch pad. And this hour, you can see it launched already. Also, we're in the green rat zone, so green rats get ready to start feasting. But you can see here, it looks like we're making lower highs, lower lows. So, don't try and, and be greedy. Bambino Flex Indicator said trade long. Uh, let's see, price near the pivot long. Near I, near, near I, near R1 short. We never really got close to R1. So for the week, we've taken out the pivot. For the month, we've taken out the pivot. And for the day, we've taken out the pivot. And so far this year, we've got two missed pivots. In and out of that upper wick zone to the downside, in and out of the lower wick zone to the upside. Weekly range 266. Really still pretty. The last, what, five weeks have all been under uh, the ATR. So price is getting compressed on the pound high minus previous high 187 a huge breakout we did not break out of the previous low high minus close 95 close minus low 172 for the rats and for the the uh, buy zone or weekly crossover trade weekly open crossover traders 226 high minus open and 41 um, open minus low so those horizontal lines paid off if you took your money in the wall mall 
you can see here the Walmart line was at 50 and we got up to 52.9 so there's a chance to take a couple of pips and right now at the 40 we're down to 37 so there's a chance to take a couple of pips notice we're crisscrossing <clears throat> yesterday's open so we're definitely playing with that lower wick zone lower daily wick zone to be specific and as you can see here using the three level zz indicator we put a three ball in down here at the 34 if we break 38 and all, the ask is already above it and that's something you know when you're tr when you're making these trades you have to remember to you have to account for that spread so and on actually maybe i should do that on this particular chart here go to properties show the ask line and so you can see the difference between the bid and the ask right there and one thing that I've kind of learned that when I'm trading is you have to be patient let the ask line get below the current high if you want to go long and then you take that trade because then if it pushes up you're you're starting to make money if it doesn't see because otherwise if you were to go long here it could easily hit that point turn around and you get inflected as uh, I always like to say I seem like I'm Mr. Inflection Point and that's one of the causes of inflection as you can see we came across the 40 the launch pad up for three or four pips <clears throat> and you saw how fast that slammed down that's why you take those pips when you can because of what just happened right there. And just watching and then you can see price moved up. But you noticed that the ask line was with was below that high so if you were to had jumped in again you could be making money and that's just you know one of the uh little things i've observed so try never to buy or enter long if your ask line is above that current um high and sometimes you might want to be tempted but that's one way to avoid getting uh, inflected and the launch pad once again did its thing I wonder if Walmart took that trade uh, we were talking earlier and uh, when I got on the phone with him he said he was down and he was thinking about quitting trading, but I'm his good luck charm when it comes to trading. He's up huge right now. And that's one of the things I've I've told um, uh, a few traders, you know, try and find a trading buddy to talk to. Um, because they might see something you don't or vice versa. Or they might, you know, as, as you're taking your trades, they might say, well, why'd you do that? Or what do you, do? Or, you know, why didn't you do that? Or things of that nature. And you can bounce things off each other. They can act as your wingman. Or I guess maybe, is it wing person now? Is wingman like hate speech or something? <laughs> All that ridiculousness. So here you can see we had the uh, higher low. So if you took that um, trade right there, you can have about three pips in your pocket right now. And just once again, you're just following candle colors at these horizontal lines. And these red and blue um, dashed lines, these are just coming off the different um, semaphores, the one, two, and three balls. 
so you can see if it's break quote unquote breaking support or resistance so you see here came up barely broke it then turned right around put it at three ball if you took that higher low trade once again you could have picked up you know three or more pips does it work every time no and that's why we have stop losses but you know these lines kind of help you look left because you see the line what where what put it in when did it happen you know okay yeah i see that it came up and then it reversed so here same thing it came up and then it started to reverse and then right here you see price came down came down more and where did it reverse right here around that one ball so this resistance kind of became support now it's sending price right back up And once again, notice right here, you know, if we put in the two ball, price tried to close above this line. It did it once and then it fell. Well, right here, price had just moved up above, you know, this line right here, this highest low. And then it's, it's struggling. So let's see what happens. Now you're on a bullish candle. You don't want to really go short on a bullish candle but then again if you took your chance short it to 50 i think there was a chance to make a quick pip and another rule of thumb i like to use on uh, these trades if i see a, a three ball here then i pay attention short bias i'm only going to look for shorts you know a two ball or three ball down here it'll say long bias I'm only going to look for for longs. <clears throat> and that usually just keeps me out of trouble. And once again, you can see prices failing to stay above the 50. And there's a couple more pips to be had. So in that particular case, you'd be trading against the candle color, but you're trading with the three ball. So let's see what happens here. Does it move that three ball up or not? And as you can see, price is struggling, but it is making higher highs. So once again, just paying attention to some simple price action rules. And then sometimes if it's struggling like this, you know, you're up a couple of pips, just be quick. Especially right now with the one ball, you can maybe let that candle close or you could have just taken profit off the table. I saw a seven here. You know, and sometimes if you're up nice like this, let the candle close. Because sometimes you get rewarded and sometimes you don't. So right now, yeah. there was a chance for seven. You're only going to get five. But that's not bad. And right here, it's pushing back down. There's your six. And now you're up eight, nine. So... You just have to decide but price definitely uh was having trouble there and you can see we we now are at the lower high moving back up and that's how you can you can play those so fellow traders i hope everybody had a profitable week and i'm gonna wish you a fun safe weekend i've got a busy weekend ahead of me um so i just want you all to keep in mind when you're trading it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. And before I say over and out, I've already had a couple of donations for the 2023 uh, TRO Donational Indicators. I haven't sent them out yet, so I'm going to be working on them. So I'll get those out soon. This is the rumpled one. Over and out.